Okay, today is uh, today's Saturday. It's 4:07 p.m. It's uh, November 9th, 2024. So I'm looking at this area here, and uh, I'm looking at I'm looking at a very interesting area, which represents essentially the totality of trading, which represents every other trading possibility. So if I can find it, ah, here we go. This was what this is the area that I was looking at. Now I've now when things go really well, which I've which thing, things did click with my previous on the funding pips challenge with the 10k that that I passed on the phase one. I took on this area right here. Fortunately, the trade actually continued, and it was trending big, and so uh, it's it's good. To, and then I held uh, miraculously with max size. I mean, that's the right combination: max size with with very long trending and very early entry. Those are the three critical points of that's that's the optimal way to trading and, and things don't work out that way that's why I keep losing challenges as God as my witness I've lost a few challenges yesterday and I'll probably lose more I will most likely lose more challenges going forward as well that's the fact of because I am not uh, perfectly tuned into trading at this stage so this is what I call you know there's there's a notorious area in the Nevada area called Area 51. Apparently, this it's an area where secret projects are uh, formulated, which is encompassed within the United States government, and it's and and freedom of information uh, provided place some light into that area, despite the fact that the government, the U.S. government, needs to keep things in a very very secretive manner to to be left alone to progress in advancements in technology and uh, and knowledge. So when I look at these situations like this, on a, on a given day, uh, on a given day, essentially what happens is, I mean, this is the area where break, break, breakout will occur, right here. This is a breakout. Every instance is a breakout. The definition of a breakout is essentially, essentially changing from one uh, trading condition to another trading condition. Essentially, that's what it means. It's it's such as continuation, or or range bound, downtrend or uptrend. So it's breaking. It's it's breaking that specific. Uh, it's called a major trend reversal or minor trend reversal. And some minor trend reversals can be huge, based on the the width of that trend. So I can. I can clearly see. I can see that there is a, there is a right here. There is a uh, area of resistance, and there's an area of support that is supported by the moving averages that are moving it up. So it's essentially uh, pinpointing a, tr uh, a, a a triangle, okay, or a wedge. So the area of uh, 51 for me is to develop an understanding, which happens practically uh this is a one minute chart by the way so every every candle is one minute so essentially one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen in about 15 minutes that's 15 minutes it completed a complete uh trend cycle in 15 minutes i assume that's another 15 minutes that's another 15 minutes that's another 15 minutes that's about 20 minutes that's about 20 minutes so within 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 half an hour there is a essentially a major trend reversal that occurs major to me as a scalper to take advantage and so when i look at this in many of the cases that i've as a novice trader i've fallen victim to this scenario where i'm thinking okay so it's down 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 moved a little bit sideways i see this green candle right there oh that means i need to go long because uh see if, if you do this if i do this essentially I don't know. See, look, I'm thinking, whoa, it's going to go back up. But what happens as soon as I get in, as it, 
I lose a bunch right there, and then lose more and more and more. But I get a, I get, I get stopped out. But by the time I get stopped out, the loss is significant. So this is area is called area 51. I used to be an engineer. I'm not creative whatsoever, and so I'm just, I'm just naming things right off the bat at this point. So there's going to be an area 52, and there's going to be an area 53, which I will, I will, uh, video, uh, YouTube. So, so the ideal thing is I'm looking at this situation here, and I'm, I'm looking at this and waiting, waiting, and I see that, oh, there's a possibility. I, that was a possibility too, but this is a possibility, and then it came back up. Now, I don't want to jump in thinking, that, okay, so this is going to fly off, and that's where, that's where things can really uh, undermine my uh, uh, trading, trading challenges. Then it came back down here, and had I waited until here, when everything, all the dust settles in the area 51 area, okay, then I would look at this candle, and I would see this candle, and I would take a chance on this trade. The, I, the, the, the good trade, uh, professionals know something quite different than I do, and when I look at this uh, setup right there, I'm thinking to myself, this is, if I were to enter in this area, hold on to this pullback with a stop loss approximately here, which is going to be significant with two lot. If I trade two lots right here, entry here, that's going to be approximately about 225 bucks right there with two lots. With the 10K account, two lots is uh, the size that seems to work okay, all right. And then, <clears throat> but if I'm not sure, I would have to step down to maybe a half a lot or something like that. But if I'm, if I'm, if I have it right, and things are moving in a direction where the confluences are aligned and I'm willing to take that, that take that initial that, take that initial risk <clears throat> then if I can survive the initial pullback as soon as it gets to this point there is probably about 50 to 70 bucks right there right with a two lot trade so so that means that means that if I can survive it I can actually raise that up and lower my risk okay lower my risk after this I get this point but if I lower my risk here it's gonna knock me out right here with that with that with that that liquidity grab whatever that is there's some selling that going that was going on but the buying took over and got in here so so the the trading concept of the area 51 is to look at these situations where I can take advantages within a 15 minute intervals okay once I become more sophisticated and master this skill of area 51 I'm attempting to have uh, what's the what's the antimatter of area 51 okay so that's something that I'm going to be uh, just, uh, I'm going to be exploring as well for now as a as a semi pro um, and I'm being very generous with myself as being a semi-professional uh, uh, because I'm losing. I'm, I'm actually, I, I haven't made a single penny in prop firm challenges, uh, prop firms yet. But I'm being very, very generous with the label that I give myself as a semi-pro semi is this. So the area 51 is this area when I'm looking at this particular scenario where it's painting a reversal that occurs. And I'm taking a chance on this and a lot of the times what will happen is that it's going to go up and drop go up drop go up drop 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 and i would be i would be like walking my account to zero as i keep losing and losing like it's what is it called it's um yeah there's a there's a uh, day trading concept called uh there's a way to apparently you can blow up an account with a single trade or you could just bleed yourself to to uh to uh, oblivion and so this is one setup that i could have taken right there that's one that's another setup that i could have taken that's another possible setup that i could have taken th despite the fact that gain would have been small but the idea is the same here as well so within a matter of essentially uh within a matter of uh, 15 to one hour right there that could have been one trade two trade three trade four trades right there i could have taken four trades that would have netted a significant amount with the understanding that there is a resistance up here to take profit somewhere around this area where there is, is, 
it's entering into a trading range, trading range, trading range. So this would be this would be considered a trading. This would be the area 51, where where a it's it's essentially equivalent to a breakout. It's a it's a breakout. The area 51 was created to break out in knowledge and technology. It's a breakout. It is there to steamroll into a breakout to understanding something that has never been understood to create this. So it's appropriately called Area 51. This is the 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 Area 51 right there. Now, uh, anti-positive, <laughs> anti-positive is essentially on this side where that is going to be. What, what is that called? If it's not an area, what is it? It's a, it's a void 51. I'll just call it a void 51. This is called a void 51. Area 51, void 51, okay? There are also the four letter words, void 51, area 51, okay? So this is the area 51. 